CBS 2 News at 5. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Williams. Rob is off today. And I'm Kate Sullivan. Porter Cross will turn 88 on Thursday. Jim and Kate Porter Cross also told me he thinks he'll be okay. Yeah. But you know what, Derek? You and I grew up very close to that neighborhood, and there was an unwritten code, even among the criminals, that you don't pick on older people. Yeah, well, those That's days gone. are gone That from that neighborhood. All right. Very good, Derek. Thanks. Meanwhile, jurors saw gruesome photos today, the very emotional first day of the trial of former Bolingbroke Police Sergeant Drew Peterson for the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at the Will County Courthouse in Joliet. And Mike, there were some tears in court today. Meanwhile, the dust up over a fast food restaurant could come to a head tomorrow with the GOP sponsored Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. Republicans here in Chicago say they will make a formal complaint at City Hall against the alderman who said he would block the restaurant from coming into his ward. Well, two fans stole the spotlight from the players at last night's Cubs game. Did you see the action in the stands? <laughs> and Gail, we have the answer. We talked to Greg after he arrived back in his home state of Montana today. Apparently, he sent her for beer so he could give the people behind him a camera to take photos of the big moment. Trouble was, it took her so long, she missed her own proposal. Yeah, and listen <laughs> to this. Cubs star Anthony Rizzo was on deck. He congratulated the couple. Then a Cubs executive invited the couple to sit in the VIP seats for the rest of the game. And somebody, I think, overheard Erica say, nice proposal, but did you see the Cubs are winning? <laughs> I put this on Facebook and said, you know what, at least they'll have a great story. They'll be able to tell this story tell for years to, their to children. come. Right. More big news tonight from Wrigley Field. It is what thousands of families across the Chicago area have been waiting to hear. There are two encouraging mm -hmm. signs about the housing market here. Yeah, sales are up and so are home prices. The newsroom, Suzanne LeMignot, CBS 2 News. Oh, Jim great Kate? news. Yeah, yeah, we needed some good economic news. Thank you, Suzanne. And what about those... We mentioned a couple minutes ago, home sales are up and interest rates are low. Yet the overall economy is still mediocre at best. CBS Evening News anchor Scott Pelley joins us live from New York. Scott, how can that be? We'll have that and all the world news on the CBS Evening News. All right, thanks so much, Scott. And then at 6 o'clock. And uh, tackling credit card debt is no easy feat, but in the past eight months, the Wrights, a suburban family, have already paid off one card, and today we're happy to report they have eliminated another one. The Wrights have now saved $3,000. $549. The rights are slowly eliminating their credit card debt by saving money on things like their water bills, electric bills, cutting back on eating out, and other cost-saving measures. We've detailed their success in numerous stories. You can find them all on our website, cbschicago.com slash survive this economy. I love the creativity, right? Why not use that opportunity to bring people to bring in people and make some in. extra money? Yeah, very smart. And yeah. Some pretty incredible pictures out of Arizona today. Yeah, take a look at this. This is a time-lapse video from the Phoenix Airport. Dex readings, at least that's a break that we can look at. Great break. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve. Steve. Okay. Why one Bears player almost didn't return to the team this season. Meanwhile, Ryan's here with sports. As expected, the Cubs did some last-minute wheeling and dealing before today's trade deadline. <laughs> Kellen Davis certainly a big target, but the Bears' offense better be as explosive as advertised right. because if not, they won't have Mike March to blame because he's gone. Right. That's the news at 5. CBS Evening News is next. Be sure to join Walter and me at 6 and we'll all be back here at 10. Have a great night. See you soon.